Hi. Now, in this example, it's about finding the points of intersection of two graphs. We've got to find the coordinates, the points of intersection of y equals 2 over x minus 5 and y equals 4x plus 2. Now, if you feel you can do this, just pause the video, come back when ready, and I'll run through the work solution and you can compare your solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So let's see how you would have got on. Well, first of all, what I want to do is just write down the two equations of our graphs. y equals 2 over x minus 5. And we've got the other equation, y equals 4x plus 2. Now, when we're trying to find out points of intersection of two graphs, what we need to do is do simultaneous equations between them. And there's various ways that you can do simultaneous equations. I'm going to do substitution here, though. I'm going to equate 1 with 2, or basically substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So wherever I see y written in equation 2, I'm going to replace it with 2 over x minus 5. So what we've got then is therefore 2 divided by x minus 5 equals the 4x plus 2. And immediately I see that we've got a fraction here. So it's a good idea to get rid of that fraction, the x. So I need to multiply throughout by x. And we've got four terms here. So if I multiply the first term by x, all that I get is 2. Then for the next term, it's going to be minus 5x. And then for this term, it will be 4x squared. And then for this term, plus 2x. So what I've got now is a quadratic equation, because it's got x squared in. So it needs to be rearranged. It needs to be rearranged in the form, starting with an x squared term, then an x term, and then a constant, so that it equals 0. So I can see that's positive, so I'm going to keep that there. And I'm going to add 5x to both sides. So 2x plus 5x would be 7x. And then I'm going to subtract this 2 from both sides. So it would be minus 2, and it would equal 0. Next, I would want to solve this either by factorizing or by using the quadratic formula x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. But I feel it's going to factorize because there's no indication here like, say, give it an exact form or anything like that. So I feel it is going to factorize. So let's just experiment. It's going to be two brackets. OK, equals 0. What are we going to have? We're going to have a 4x, say, and an x there. And I can see that if I put a 2 there, a plus 2, that's going to be 8x. And then if I put minus 1 there, that's minus x. So it's going to give me 7x. And so minus 1 times plus 2 is minus 2. OK, so it's factorized. Next, I just want to uh, try and solve this in the usual way. Let's just come down here, though. So that means that each of these factors would equal 0. So therefore, we've got 4x minus 1 could equal 0, or the other factor, x plus 2, that could equal 0. And for this one, if I add 1 to both sides, 4x would equal 1. And then divide both sides by 4, I'd get x equals 1 quarter. And for this one, I just subtract 2 from both sides, and that will give me x equals minus 2. OK, so we've got our 2x values. We now just need to get the corresponding y values. And I've got a choice here. I can substitute x equals a quarter either into equation 1 or 2. It's up to you. I'm going to substitute into 2, though, because it just doesn't have a fraction. So we'll just say here sub okay, x equals 1 quarter into equation 2. Do experiment, though. Put it in 1, see what you get. You should get the same answer.
If we do that, we're going to have y equals 4 multiplied by our x value, which is a quarter, and then plus 2. 4 times a quarter is 1. 1 plus 2 is going to give 3. So y is going to equal 3 then. Similarly, we need to substitute x equals minus 2 again into either 1 or 2. I'm going to substitute into equation 2 though. And if we do that, we therefore have that y equals 4 times x, which is now minus 2, and then plus 2. 4 times minus 2 is minus 8, plus another 2 is minus 6. So, in summary then, we're asked to find the points of intersection. So I'm just going to reply back then, therefore the points of intersection, just to finish it off, therefore the points of intersection are going to be one quarter for x and the corresponding y value is 3 and then you've got the other point which is when x is minus 2 you've got that y equals minus 6 and there you go okay